What is up guys, my name is Pocket Island and this is a tutorial on how to set up a craft bucket server and also install server mods or plugins. Now this is a continuation of my vanilla server tutorial. If you guys want to watch that first, it would be great because you guys will know how to port forward and all that first. Now, to start off on your bucket server first, you guys want to download the craft bucket recommended build. However, if you're a bit more advanced, you can even download the development build and try out some new things. However, that is not recommended because the development build can have some bugs as well. Also, we will be doing this on 1.3.1. So after downloading it, you guys want to make sure it's in its own directory. And now you guys want to rename this to craftbucket.jar. After you guys want to create a new text document and call it run. You guys want to open up this text document and go here. You guys will see, I'll have a link in the of this in the description as well. Now you guys will want to copy this over and paste it in the text document. However, if you have Java 7, um, you guys want to copy this over, the bottom part over. Okay, so we copied and pasted it, hit save. Okay, so now we want to rename our run.txt to run on bat. If you don't see the ex file extension, so if you don't see the .txt, you guys will have to go and change that into your in your Windows options. I'll have a link to that tutorial in the description as well. So here we go, we have this little message, hit yes, and we just run it, and there you go, so now our server is starting up. You just let the spawn configure and all that, and when it says done, there you go, you are done. We're going to type in stop into our console, stop the server. You guys really want to do this, because um, if you don't, then your server might just not save, and it can cause problems. Now, how to install server mods. So as you guys will notice that, you guys will have the same kind of directories in your folder that you would find in a bucket ser uh, regular vanilla server, except for the plugins folder. This is where you want to put all your server mods. So in this tutorial, we're going to be downloading essentials and installing that. I highly recommend that you always have this plugin. This is an amazing plugin that every server should have. Okay, so we've downloaded it, and here are what it comes with. We just open it with, open it up, and we're gonna drag the jar files into our plugins folder. After we do that, we're gonna start up our server back up again, and, and if you go back to the plugins folder, you'll see that two new folders are created. One is plugin metrics, and the other is for the essentials. Here, you can configure essentials and then configure your plugins. Uh, really depends on your plugin on what folder, if a folder is made or not. Now we're going to join our server by tapping in localhost into our direct connect, and here we are. We're going to op ourselves through the console. And here you guys will see now that essentials is loaded. Now we can type in slash help, view all the commands that comes with the plugin. If you type in slash help essentials, you guys can see all the uh, commands that come with each plugin um, specifically. And also, last but not least, uh, one quick command you guys should know is slash reload, which reloads all the plugins. So if you guys want to add new plugins and change things up in the conf uh, config, you guys can use this command to kind of reload the server. However, this isn't always recommended because it can cause um, plugin errors. And that's how you install server mods or plugins for Craft Bucket. Thank you all for watching. If you guys have any questions or concerns, be sure to comment below, and I'll try to get to it as soon as possible.